Hi guys, um, I just want to talk about how to, in this video I want to talk about uh, how to teach students with learning disabilities. Um, and I want to talk, first of all, in order to do that, you have to first get yourself educated about them. And you have to first realize that they are in fact gifted students, okay? They have a special talent, a special gift. And you as teachers or tutors have to bring it out of them. Okay, you have to harness that power. You have to be able to harness it. And we, that's what we as teachers have to do is to motivate them, give them power, uh, words of encouragement, um, and push them as well to, to, you know, to, um, to, to be able to bring out that hidden power in them, you know. And I'm going to tell you something. There are a lot of successful people that we know throughout history, throughout, um, and that we know today that have learning disabilities. And I'll give you some great examples, okay? And if you don't believe me, just Google them. You'll see. I mean, they're all, uh, just Google them. But, but I'll give examples. Look at the Steven Spielberg. We all know him, famous for Jaws, Jurassic Park, Snyder's List, Saving Private Ryan. And we love his films. He's a talented director and he has a learning disability. Uh, look at, you know, a lot, of, maybe a lot of your teacher, you know, a lot of girls are probably, a lot of the girls are like, oh, look at Justin, oh, he, look at Justin Timberlake. He's so cute. Oh my God. Oh, he's so cute. You know, like, you know, and I'm pretty sure the girls are looking at, they're like in their phone, like, oh my God. He's like, look at Justin Timberlake. He's not as cute. So cute. Oh my God. Even probably the moms are like, oh my God, Justin Timberlake. Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding to the moms out there. I just, you know, you know, I just jokes, you know, I love making my jokes, but you get the point. Um, uh, you know, he, uh, he also have a learning disability. He has OCD and ADHD. Um, I like also gig famous celebrities, right? Now, what about famous scientists that we know throughout history? Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, Alexander Graham Bell. Famous scientists that made such a tremendous, their ventures has changed their ideas, has changed our society, our today's society, has made us better off, their ideas. So, uh, so you know, and they have learning disabilities. So that's why I said, I don't even like the word learning disability. I think it should be called learning. They have a gift. I don't like, I don't want, I need some better. I would say learning, I would say instead of disabilities, they got learning gift. I don't know. I have to come up with a better name, a better name, but I have to figure out a good name for them, but a good name for the students with learning disabilities, but they're not, they're not, they're, they're in fact are gifted kids. They're not gifted kids unfortunately uh, gifted kids okay but unfortunately and most people unfortunately most people are ignorant about them and i think it's ignorant about them and that reason is they just didn't have enough education about them so i hope that this video helped but let me talk more about you know i talked about you know getting yourself educated about them and getting to know as much as you can about them but i would talk about what you can do is how my question you want to know is how you teach them right but the way to teach them is um, is you gotta look at their obviously you look at their IPs. They'll list a co you know what are accommodations, what do they need. That then you have to obviously enforce what's in the IEP, right? But another way you can also get IEP, and you can also another strategy. So that's one strategy. So look at IEP, figure out okay what are their accommodations or what you have to you have to follow, right? But you can also consult with like a learning specialist at your school or a school you know learning specialist, you know or learning or or you know, school psychiatrist, something who know, uh, can help you. Give, they can give you a good, they're a great resource in providing you way, uh, providing ways to to teach the student. Uh, also, actually consulting the parent. In fact, the parents are a great example of you know consulting, asking them about how to teach the student because the parents know their child better. They know their interests, their strengths, and their abilities. They are, their parents are ex actually in fact. Just realize parents are an excellent source of informa uh, information how to teach the student. But that's a, so that's my advice to you. Uh, also, I have a lot of visuals. A lot of them love visuals. Have some visuals. Write things down. Uh, provide notes for them because a lot of the time they don't have great uh, that need. They need uh, not. Uh, they might need a, they, 
the, the to write notes down for them because sometimes it's hard for them to process uh, inform the information while they're you know writing that, writing things down. So they take time to write things down, process information. So you might want to provide them uh, with the notes for them for them. And you have to also, I forgot to mention about, you know, let me tell you about this. People say about, have a lot of, uh, about accommodations. Now, I know a lot of teachers have issues with accommodations that gives them an, you're thinking that accommodations give them an unfair advantage. Okay, let me tell you this. When somebody breaks, uh, what, if, uh, what if somebody broke their leg, right? You broke a, your leg, you know, perhaps you, you know, you, know, you for example, broke your leg. let's say a student broke his leg, right? Uh, and he, so, you know, he has to use wheelchair, you know, wheelchair because a wheelchair supports him. He can't walk. How can he, is it fair for him to walk without a wheelchair? No, he needs a wheelchair because he broke his leg, right? It helps him, supports him. Accommodations are like that, like that. They're like the wheelchairs. They're like, we call them to wheelchairs. They help them become successful to be able to do the things in order to be able to achieve wonderful things they need the come it gives them support and aid okay right now of course you you yeah of course you may say oh they you know yeah so that's what i'm saying okay you know uh that's what i'm saying they are like that's what it is so don't think it's not fair. it's just to help them out okay that's what, that's what we are. So that's why I hope you liked this video. I hope that I give you enough information, educate you about how to teach students with learning disabilities. If you like and like this video, please like, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. Uh, yeah, and if you like to like to share your strategies of how to teach students with learning disabilities, you can write in the comments below. If you dislike dislike my videos or like dislike my videos, also write in the comments below. I uh, explain why you dislike it. I like to hear your feedback. I like to learn uh, from your feedback. Please be uh, you know, and um, or any feedback and how to, or you can write any feedback how to improve on my videos. I really greatly appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, if you need help. If your uh, your if your if your child is a high school student and he, and he needs help, he or she needs help with math or statistics, I can help. Um, and my email is in the description below. So I hope you have a wonderful day. May the math force be with you. And just remember, students with learning disabilities are gifted people. I hope you like this video. And may the math force. Yeah, bye for now, guys.